Hello, hello. Welcome to my show, Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini, and tonight I'd like to do an animal that everyone is familiar with. It is a skunk. You know, I'm sure everyone has seen one of these in their backyard, and when you see them, you try to avoid them, but they are a cute little animal. I will show you the types of clay that we'll be using tonight. We're going to be using these balls of clay here. What I did is these two small balls of clay here are going to be the ears. The, then I made four small balls of clay. These will be the legs, the rear legs. And then I got these two will be the front legs. And then this will be used for the body. But then we will also be using pink Sculpey for the nose. We'll be using white for the stripes on the skunk. And then also yellow for the, the eyes. And I'll show you how we'll start that. We'll start off with the body. We're going to take and we're going to be creating the body, which is right here from the head down to the tail. We're going to be creating that whole piece right there. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to take the ball of clay here, and what I'm trying to do now is, is work on the tail a little bit. Pull that out. See how I'm pulling that out? And then what we're going to do is that then I'll, I'll work the body a little bit. See, I'm lengthening the piece of clay with my hands. And then what I want to do is I want to flip this over, and I'm going to work on the head a little bit. So, so I'm pulling that out. The skunk has a kind of pointed snout, so I'm trying to create that point. And we're just working that. Just like that. I want to make sure. And see how, see how he's starting to take shape. So what I'm going to do now is pull, work on the tail part right here. And work that. See, I'm kind of pulling that out. See, I'm pulling that out there. Just kind of working that. See, I'm, I'm trying to make that a little thinner. See how that's starting to take shape? Just like that. And then we're going to take the tail and kind of flip it over like that. See that? And now, this is the body right here. And then we're going to I'm just going to work on making the neck a little thinner in here. And this is going to be the skunk head. See how I made that body? See how that's got the nice little point to it? There's, there's the neck, the body of the skunk, and the tail. So we've sculpted that. And I'll show you, we're going to do the legs next. And I'll show you, we're going to do the front legs. See these right here, where I'm pointing to? We're going to be doing the two front legs. And I'll show you how to do that. What we're going to do is we can take these, and I'm going to lengthen these out like this, just like that. And then I'm going to do the same to the other one. We'll put that down, take this, and do that. See how we're lengthening that out? I'm kneading it between my fingers. And then what I also want to do now, now that we've done that, I want to make a little foot. So what we're going to do is take, and see, I'm going to kind of twist that a little bit. See, twist that a little bit, and see that, and make a little foot on the skunk. And then we'll proceed to do the same with the other piece. So I'm going to take that piece now that we made the leg and I'm going to take and see my between my thumb and my finger we're just going to make that little foot just like that. See how I did that? 
And then what I want to do is we're going to make the back legs. So we're going to pick this piece up here. And we're going to pull that out, see how, just like that. And now what we're going to do is this is going to be a little wider at the top part of the leg. See that there? Because the, the rear legs appear to be a little bigger. So then we're going to take that make of that little foot again. See how we're doing that? And we're going to proceed to make the other leg. This is the other rear leg. So we take that, work that like that. See that, the sh nice shape that we're making? Make that shape. So you just kind of squeeze it a little on the sides, squeeze it all around. And then we're going to make that foot again. So you're just going to take and make that little foot. See that? That's what it's going to look like. So that's what it's going to look like from the front and the side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place, take the two front legs now, and I'm going to place that, see that right there? Push it up against there. Right up against like that. And kind of push it in. Now we're going to flip, flip them over. We're going to do the other side. Want to make sure it's in the same spot. See that? And I'm going to take and see how we did that? Got the two front legs. Now we're going to take the rear leg and we're going to put that right about there. See how we did that? So now you're going to press that against the body and then so it will be attached. And then we're going to swing around and do the other, the other side. I want to make sure that they're lined up. And then we're going to attach that there. And now I want to kind of put him down. I want to make sure that. See him right there? Pretty good so far, huh? So now what we're going to do is we're going to make. Skunks have, uh, they're black, but they have white stripes. So what I'd like to do is we'll do, but before we do the white stripes, I do want to do his ears. I have these two small balls here, and we'll make the ears, which are right here. See right here? You can see them. I, they, I, put, I made them black, but I also put a little pink in there so they would stand out a little more. So we're going to take the ears. I'm going to take and flatten it out like this, and I'll show you the shape that we want. See that? That's the shape that we want. And then what I'm going to do is take my little sculpting tool here, and I'm going to scoop out a little bit of the ear, like that. And then I'm going to sculpt the other ear, and I'll do the same thing. So we'll take this, kind of flatten it out that way. And almost, it almost looks like an upside down U. So we're going to take that. I'm going to take my sculpting tool, and just take a little bit of the ear out of the center there. And then what I'm going to do now, let's see, I want to take a little bit more. I didn't take enough. I want to take a little bit more. So what we're going to do is take a little bit more. See the sculpting tool? Take a little bit more. Now we can take and put the ear 
right here. I'm going to place that. See where I did right there? Right there. And you can see, I'll put them up like that. See where the ear is? And then we're going to proceed to do the other ear. I'm just going to take a little more clay out of him, that one too. And we're going to place that on the other side right there. See how that is? Just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some pink clay right here. And we're going to make Let's see. I'm just going to get a little tiny bit, a little piece like about that big. See that? We might even take a little bit more of that away. And I'm going to make I'm going to make a nose. Just make make a round ball. And then put it on the See that? This is nose. And then what we're going to do is take a couple of small balls again, same size. I'm going to take one and then I'm going to place it right in here for the ear. See, I, I, you know that piece that we scooped out? And then I'm going to take and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So that piece that was scooped out, we're going to fill it with the pink clay. See that? Makes it so much easier. Now you can see it. Now what I'd like to do is, we'll, I think we'll make the eyes next. That'll be a little easier. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my toothpick and I'm going to just go like that and make a hole. And then I'll make one on the other side. Want to make sure it's in the same spot, roughly. See that? And you go like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take yellow and I'm going to put that inside the eyes. We take a little piece of yellow clay about this big. Might even be too big. I'm going to split it in half, and I'll show you. It's it's almost this. It's almost too tiny to see, but I'll still try to show you anyway. See that those two little pieces? We're going to stick those in the eye now. I'm going to take. See if that fits in. See, put that right in there. See the eye? And then we'll take and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now what we want to do is we want to take, get some little balls of black clay, really tiny. I'll show you how about the size. And we're going to put these in there for the eyes. Let's see, see those little tiny, you want them really small because they, we, we don't want to completely cover the yellow, but we want, when we put them on, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it right here, see on the yellow? See that? And then what we can do is I'll do the other side. We'll put that right on the yellow there. See? And then we also can make a little mouth. I'm going to take the toothpick and just kind of make a little line on that side. And then we'll make a little line on the other side. And now he's almost complete. The only thing we have to do now is add the stripes. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. We're going to take this white clay here and 
I'm going to try to de determine I'm going to get a ball of clay. I like to roll up my hand like this. Get a ball of clay about that big. And we're going to get two of them. I'm going to get another one to make another white ball. And it's almost the same size, just going to add a little more to it. See that? We have the two white balls now. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this and almost like roll, roll it in between my hands like that to start it. We can put it down on the table right here. I do want to make sure this is clean because if it isn't, it'll pick up all uh, this. We can take and roll this like this. Let's see, we're going to want to make sure it's about the right size. It was. I'm going to roll this piece here, just like that. See that? Because what we want to do is, these are going to be the stripes, but we want to make it basically the entire length of the skunk. So I'm going to look to see if these are about the right size. That's a little too long, let's see. So now what we want to do is I want to take and put that on there like that. See how we did that? You just attach it like that. And then you kind of flatten it out with you, push it into the skunk like that. See how we're doing that? I'm pushing that in. Just like that. And now we'll do the same thing for the other side. We're going to take, put that, see how I'm doing that? I'm going to take and attach it like that. See how I'm pushing that on? Now this appears to be maybe just a little bit too long, so I want to pinch off a little piece at the end here. And we push that in. We try to flatten it out. Just like that. See how I'm flattening that out? That's what it looks like from the top. That's what it looks like from the sides. See that? I want to make sure We'll just keep flattening out a little bit. Because you want to make it flat up against the, the black. Just like that. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to add a little fur to our skunk. So we're going to take, I'll show you, we'll start with the face. See, we're going to take the two thick and you're just going to make little in indentations like that. You just go like that. And then you can do the same thing on the legs. Just like that. You're going to do that in the body. Like this. You're going to do the entire skunk in that manner. Just keep making those little light. And then where it's white, you're going to do the same thing. Make the little indentations. See that? You 
You go the entire length of the skunk like that. You want to do the leg. See the leg here? Just like that. Now you want to do the entire skunk in that manner. And I will show you what the final version of the skunk will look like once it's completed. Once you've made all the fur, see how, how nice it is with all the indentations I made with the uh, toothpick for the fur? Underside, sides. See how we got the nice pink nose, pink ears. We get the yellow and black for the eyes. And that's what your skunk will look like when it's completed. I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay. And they do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.